right? It says, thou shalt become an astonishment. You know what, do you sisters know what astonishment is? Right? And astonishment is something that make the make somebody go, wow, oh my God. Hey man, do you see that? Right? And that is our people. Uh -huh. Look around, man. You got people doing a damn great challenge, man. Damn, they're breaking their neck so they can get likes on damn social media, man. Right. Uh -huh. Damn astonishment, sisters. Uh -huh. right? right? And we got our sisters that damn uh, pull up to the red light. Every red light they got to get to, they got to jump out and twerk. Right? Uh -huh. You got to... See, you know what I'm saying? You got brothers that damn, when they pull up to the damn function, they pull up to the club, they pull up to the party, they get out of the car, and they got to pull down their pants lower than what they already are. All right. right? Those are astonishments, man. You got them seeing our people uh, 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 being an, an embarrassment. Really? Come on. Uh, a proverb. A proverb. A proverb is a, is a proper saying, is a wise saying. Uh, you want to hide something from a black person, put it in the book. Right? All people love chicken. All black people love uh, uh, Kool-Aid, right? Those are proverbs, wise sayings. Go ahead. And the power. And the power. If you step up, sisters, and you see uh, uh, all these names on this side, right? What you got? You got blacks. You got Negroes. You got African Americans. You got Haitians, Puerto Ricans, right? Mexicans. All those are bywords. You can't find any of these words in the Bible, sisters. Right. Right. So if the uh, Bible doesn't say anything about black people, white people, uh, uh, Puerto Ricans, how do we find our nationality in the Bible? Right. Nobody is curses. Right. 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 Uh, there's nobody else, no other book, no kind of uh, form of educational system that's going to tell you who y'all are. Right. And who y'all are are the chosen people of the Most High. That's right. right. You are princesses of Zion, man. Right. Don't let nobody tell y'all that y'all damn black women. Right. Right. I'm not none of that. Y'all above being black. That's right. right. That's the damn color of your pants, sister. Right. Uh. Jump down to uh, verse 54. 54. Verse 54. So that the man that is tender among you and very delicate. Right. Because it was a time in the old days why people were delicate towards each other, especially the men. Right? Hey, you needed something, brother? I got it. You know what I'm saying? You need a place to crash tonight, brother? I got you. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, times change, though. Right. Bring it out. Con. His eye shall be evil toward his brothers. His what? His eye shall be evil, evil toward, toward his brothers. Sound like black on black crime to me, sister. The Bible said thousands of years ago that Con. this was going to be another curse that fell on the Israelites. Another curse that we can relate to, right? Con. So now, like the Israelites and the so-called black people, you know what I'm saying, seeming like the same people, right? Uh. So let's continue on. Good. And toward the wife of his bosom, and toward the remnant of his children, which he shall leave. Which he shall what? Which, which he, he shall, shall leave. leave. the so-called white man known for leaving his children's sisters. Uh. It's the so-called Chinese man known for leaving his children's sisters. Uh. Who's known for leaving their children? The so-called black man. There That's you go. Right. Right. The so-called black man, his, uh, Hispanic, and the uh, so-called Native, uh, Native American man. Right? Oh, jump down to verse 64. Verse 64. Check this out, sis. And the Lord shall scatter thee among all people. Right, because we got people everywhere. That's why uh, when the ships drop these people off here, they stayed there and they procreate. Right? So we got people over here. We got people over there. So this word has to be preached in all four corners. For uh, the Israelites to wake up uh, uh. from the one end of the earth even unto the other, and there you shall serve other gods which neither thou nor thy fathers have known, even wood and stone. Uh, so, why people don't went into Christianity, right? Why people don't went into them uh, Islam, right? Right, because they uh, uh, follow following the ways of the other nations, uh. right? Jump back up to 46, man. Uh, verse 46, and they shall be upon thee. For a sign. Right, for a what? For, for a, a sign. sign. When you go to McDonald's, when you go to uh, uh, Whataburger, how you know it's Whataburger? Because of the sign, right? Right. You know what I'm saying? Just like these curses are upon the Israelites for a sign. For them to wake up in the end days to know that they are the chosen people of the most high. That's right. right. Go ahead. And for a wonder. Uh-huh. And upon thy seed forever. Right. These curses are going to be upon the Israelites until Christ come back. Right? Uh -huh. Go ahead. Because thou servest not the Lord thy God uh -huh. with joyfulness. And with gladness of heart right. for the abundance of all things. Mm -hmm. Therefore, shalt thou serve thine enemies. Thy friends. Thy, thy enemies, enemies. Thy family. Thy, thy enemies. enemies. Who did the Bible say that we were going to serve, sisters? Our enemies. Do you all know who the enemies are? And the Bible in here. Both of them. The Bible is here. Here is the Bible. Get up. Right? Hey! Right. Say right. what, sister? 
Oh man, all right. praise to the most high. Right? Now let's find out, because that might be your opinion, right? Hey, read that out. Come on. Start from the top. Verse 48. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger. In hunger. So the Lord said we were gonna have to go to our enemies when we're hungry. When you get hungry, where you go to, sister? Get your food. Where you got that pizza from? Yeah, where you got that pizza? Oh. That's right. What about you, sis? You get your food from a black-owned business or something? That, that, yeah. You do? Sometimes, what, G&Gs? Great place. <laughs> Great place. Well, another example would be like Walmart. Exactly. That's right. Hey, right. where you shop at? Publix. Where they pay their taxes to? Where you pay, right. Hey, uh, even uh, if it is a black-owned business, they got to pay their taxes to the government. That's right. Who owns the government? Do we own the government? No, we We're not right here trying to force people to take the shot. Y'all know what shot I'm talking about, right? We're not forcing that on our people. Right? Telling right. our people that, hey, y'all need to go first. When have we ever right. been first in anything? Right? right? They always have us last. Why all of a sudden we got to go first to take a damn shot? Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? We got to take a shot for something that's so detrimental that you got to get tested just to know you had it. Right. That's crazy, right? Uh -huh. Now back to the to the uh, curses. God. And in thirst. And in thirst. You want to get your design, Aquafina, whatever, right. Fiji, whatever. Favorite uh, uh, water brand y'all got? Smart water. The, they got the armor water now. You know what I'm saying? Right. Hey, who you got to go to the kitchen? Y'all already know. Who got to say it? The Bible said it. Go ahead. Oh, and in nakedness. And in nakedness. Right? Who you got that dress from, son? H&M. From the store. Do your own, do our people own that store? Hey. It's plain as it's plain upon tables, right? Uh, what I'm trying to say. It's not even my words. What the Bible trying to tell y'all, sisters, right? That's right, uh, right? We gotta wake up and realize where we at and who oppressing us. Who got that damn boot in our neck, right? That's right, right, right. Go ahead. Uh, and in what of all things? Some things. In all, all things. things. So the Lord says, since y'all didn't listen to my commandments, I'm gonna do something that's gonna make y'all damn hurt. This is gonna hurt. I'm gonna make y'all serve y'all enemies in everything, man. For everything. Right. You wanna get your driver's license, right? You wanna get your, uh, you know what I'm saying, your marriage license, right? You wanna get a damn divorce. Who you gotta go to? You gotta uh, go to the man, right? Right. Uh, you gotta go. You know what I mean when I say the man, man? Right. Right. And that's that's a that's a curse that we know that we under, man. Uh, right. We are oppressed. We are the uh, the most oppressed people in the society, man. Uh, right. right. And nobody not reaching out of hand and say let's help them, right? Give me some eighty-three. They're not saying let's help the so-called black peoples, let's help the so-called Hispanics, right? You see how they treat the Hispanics too? Those are our people. That's right. Art 83. <clears throat> and I'm gonna show you why. It's because they know who we are. Give me Jude uh, uh, 5 and 17. The book of Psalms! Jude and verse 2. Uh -huh. For lo, thy enemies make us a moat, uh -huh. and they that hate thee shall lift up the head. Right. Verse 3. They have taken crafty counsel. They have taken crafty counsel, right? Back in the days when the, uh, uh, you know, the government, they was pushing out the uh, the welfare system when it first came up. You know, they was telling the women, they was telling the women, a man cannot be in your house for you. In order in order for you to receive this welfare, this food stamps and all this stuff, a man cannot be in your house. That's crafty, right? right. That's, that's some kind of devious stuff, man. Uh. This is the type of stuff they sit at a damn round table and talk about. How can we damn keep the so-called black, Hispanics, and Native Americans of Negro descent down? Uh, What's the next plan? What can we do to further or uh, uh, diminish their damn uh, population, man? Right. Right? Keep, keep going, King. Against thy people. Right. Against thy people. That is a possessive word. Right? The Lord is saying, hey, man, they created a crafty council against my people, man. Go ahead. And consulted against thy hidden ones. We are the hidden ones. How, how come... Our damn uh, uh, nationality changed every damn 20 years. When, when we first got over here, we were slaves. Then we went to Negroes. Then we went to damn coloreds. Then we went to damn blacks. Then we went to damn Afro, uh, uh, whatever, man, Afro Americans, right? The I damn, thought uh, Al Sharpton had started that. He did, man. And he's yeah. nothing but a damn tool, right? He's the damn tool for the damn oppressor. For us to be like, oh, we got a savior. Hey, our savior is Christ, man. That's right. Why calls Christ, man. Why do you think none of us couldn't get a, uh, none of them couldn't get us out of the situation that we in, man? It's right. because the, a divine hand is the one that put us in the situation. Uh, Last time I checked, right. Al Sharpton is not divine. Martin Luther King is not divine. Uh, right? Neither is Malcolm X, man. Uh, they, they tried, man. 
They was headed in the right direction. A few of them, Mathemet. He was getting to the truth, but they had to take him out, man, before he found the hidden ones. Martin Luther King was a Freemason, sister. Freemason. Explain what you said. You don't think that Martin Luther King was. Martin Luther King did contrary to what the Bible said. Yep. Give me the Bible the says separate yourself from your people while you're trying to lead us to them. I got to Separate ourselves from who? The so called white man. The Bible tells you, you know, you don't you separate yourself from the heat. You were trying to lead us, even taking out people to get bit by dogs, sprayed by water hoses, just so you can go down, sit on the same toilet with this man. So you can drink out the same fountain with this man. Was that worth our lives? Just so I could drink, I, I drunk at the uh, water fountain with the so-called white man. How many lives got lost if you try to do that? But the most I say, you don't even go nowhere near them. Separate yourself from them. You know, my dad was saying how he felt like um, back in the... It's like the King of Israel. You good, King of um, Oh, back in the Civil War, he was saying how back in the day he felt like um, it was better for the people But I didn't separate them from among all people. From some people. From, from all, all people. people. From a few people. From, from all, all the people. The Lord separated the Israelites from all people. He made right. everybody in the earth, but he said, I'm going to scoop these to the side. These people for me. Is the, right. the Lord wrong for doing that? He's uh -uh. the Lord, man. Right? You can't question what the Lord does. Bring that right. Out. But I didn't separate them from among all the people of the earth mm -hmm. to be thy inheritance, uh -huh. as thou speakest by the hand of Moses. That servant, when I brought his, our fathers out of Egypt, oh Lord God. Huh, he spoke that. Give me through the Romans 7 and 6 and hold what you still got, King. Bring that up. This is the book of Amos, chapter 3, and verse 1. Huh? You only, I'm going to start at verse, uh, verse 1. Huh? Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel. O children of the world. O, o children, children of, of Israel. Israel. Huh? Against the whole family, which I brought up. From the land of Egypt, uh -huh. saying, You only have I known uh -huh. of all the families of the earth. Uh -huh. Therefore, I will punish you for all your iniquity. Right? That goes back into Deuteronomy 11 26 when the Lord gave us an ultimatum. Why is the Lord saying He's going to punish us for our iniquity? Right? Because we were the ones that were given the commandments, right? Right. That's why we uh, uh, get high blood pressure, diabetes, all these things when we eat pork, trap, uh, crimp, uh, <laughs> shrimps, and crabs, and all that stuff. Right? Uh. How come the so-called Chinese man don't get all that stuff? He eating everything under the sun. Uh. How come he don't got that got, got dog on got high blood pressure? He eating octopus. Why he still alive? Uh. Monkey brains, uh. alligator uh, know that. intestines. I was gonna say that. <laughs> alligator intestines, all that, uh. man. You know what I'm saying? But our people lead in in these uh, uh conditions, high blood pressure, all this, because we're not supposed to eat that crap. You see this right here, sisters? 
You're not supposed to be eating none of that stuff. Oh yeah, I don't, I don't eat none of that. Oh, praises, man. Oh, praises. You already on the right path, sister. Right? You gotta be some plant at home. Are y'all all like plant-based? Y'all don't eat No, we eat, we, we eat big, sister. What do you mean? You know what I'm saying? We eat clean meat, right? We don't eat anything that the Bible says is unclean. We don't eat seafood, crustacean, none of that. Right? We eat fish, but they have to have fins and scales, thus said the Lord. Right? Hey, why, why, why would I not eat chicken if the Lord said you can eat chicken? You know uh. what I'm saying? But it's kind of healthy going plant-based because every all the meats these days, hey, the, the so-called white man, them infesting them with stuff, man. Right. You know? Uh. But we protected by the Lord, you know? That's why we gotta repent every day. That's right. why we gotta damn keep the commandments. Right. So we don't get taken out by stuff like that. Right? Bring that cool. Con, con. So give me the head banger, man. I didn't get 68 and I'll uh, do the running. Oh, right. uh. So so far, all the curses that I have brought out, right? They have lined up with the so-called black Hispanic and Native American, right? Right? So this is the head banger right here, man. Somebody give me access. Alright. This oh. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Right. The first time, right? On foot. Right? So why would we need a ship to go back? That's going to show you that the word Egypt is synonymous with another meaning. Right? Uh. If you're not uh, being uh, deep rooted in these studies, you're going to just say, oh man. They're going to take a, a, a ship to Egypt. No, it has a, another meaning in this uh, scripture right here. Bring it up, bro. This is the book of Exodus. This is the book of Exodus. Chapter 20, verse 2. Uh -huh. you know, I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So, uh, uh, Egypt, the word Egypt is synonymous with the word bondage. What's bondage? Slavery. Right? When you bond, when you bound, that means you're in chains, right? So, bring that again from the top. The book of Deuteronomy. John 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With what? With, with ships. ships. With planes. With, with ships. ships. With a train. With, with ships. ships. Uh -huh. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. Thou shalt see it no more again. Listen. Where's our home? It's talking about our homeland. We was never going to see our homeland again, right? We're not from Africa, right? As they like to tell you. Oh, uh, uh, black people sold black people to slavery. No, the Africans sold the so-called uh, so blacks into uh, uh, slavery, man. That's right. Right? This is book of Galatians, chapter 4, in verse number 26. Bring it out! But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Africa. But Jerusalem, Jerusalem which is above, above is, is free. free. Uh -huh. Which is the mother of us all. Come on. Right? So y'all heard that, right? It's from Jerusalem. Right. Those damn stinking uh, 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 so-called Jews that's over there right now, they're in our land, man. Huh? Right. right. They're not even supposed to be over there right now. Locked. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. To your friends. Unto your, your enemies. enemies. To your family. Unto your, your enemies. enemies. Uh -huh. For bond men. Slave men. And bond women. And slave women. What other nation of people went into slavery on ships, man, and was sold to another damn nation of people? Uh, Nobody else but the so-called blacks, man. That's right. right. So, with that being said, if this all the curses that I brought out happened to the Israelites, what did that make us? That's right. Right. right? So, with knowing that we Israelites, it comes uh, uh, expectations of us. Right. We can't just be out here acting like a certain kind of people. If we if we the Lord's people, how should the Lord's people carry themselves? I hear brother flipping, I hear brother flipping. I got one. You got one. You know I don't want. Yeah, yeah, you can get that, but we got to get it. 10, 12, Ecclesiastes 12. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 10 and verse 12. And now Israel, what does the Lord thy God require of thee? What does the Lord thy God require of thee? Go ahead. But to fear the Lord thy God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him. And to serve the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul. How do you love the Lord? Okay, but how do you put it forth in action? How you show the Lord? Hey! Hey, that's a perfect answer, sister. We're going to see what the Bible says. The book of verse John, chapter 5, verse 3. For this is the love of God. 
that we keep his commandments. That we what? That we, we keep his commandments. commandments. Huh? His commandments are not grievous. His commandments are not hard. It's way more than ten, but they're not hard. Right? Uh. Like we down, we down, uh, down there break our neck trying to keep the damn so-called white man's laws. Uh. Right? Damn right. Light, light turn red, we see a stop sign. We damn slam on brakes. I'm not finna pass that stuff. You know what I'm saying? How people damn break their necks, man? How you doing, King? Uh. All right, you got two minutes to hear the words of the Lord? Just two minutes out your Saturday, brother. Just two minutes, brother. Yeah, 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 yeah. Take a flyer. Take a flyer, Lee. You a flyer, King. Right? Bring that out, King. I got to say this. I got to say this. Right. Uh, so that's how we love the room. Just like the sister said, man, you won't you won't fire, sister. Right. Alright. This is the book of Ecclesiastes, chapter 12, verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Uh -huh. Let's sum everything up. Go ahead. Fear God. What? Fear God. Uh -huh. And keep his commandments. Uh -huh. For this is the whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of man. Uh -huh. Not damn uh Jake trying to damn grow up and be a basketball player. Right, our sister's trying to be a singer. Someone trying to be a damn stripper, man. Trying to be a damn rapper like uh, made the damn stallion. Right. It's not damn the purpose of life, right? The purpose of life is to serve the most high. This uh -huh. world that we in right here, it's not even our, our place of rest, right? You know where our place of rest at? Uh, come back, King. All right, King. Uh, Isaiah 14 and 3. Uh -huh. Right? This is not our place of rest. Right? We were put here to serve the most high. This is a test, right? To see if we're gonna obey or, or, or to see if we're gonna damn uh, do what we want to do. Right? Because the Lord know that this place is gonna He knew that this place was gonna entice us, right? To make us do what do what we want to do. Right? That's the damn whole ideology of damn Babylon, right? This is America, right? That's the whole idea of America is to do what you want to do. Do it thou will, right? You only live once. That's not damn true. Right. Cease today. It's not our rest, man. Right? There's something much more far beyond imagination was waiting on us if we keep the commandments. You know what that is? That's the kingdom of heaven, so right? This is the book of Isaiah, chapter 14, uh, and verse 3. Oh, Peter, and it shall come to pass in the, day, in the day that the Lord shall give thee rest from thy sorrow. From thy what? From thy sorrow. Ain't now people damn having sorrows now? Damn people's uh, children getting killed at the age of damn 12 and 13 because they run around in the streets. Damn uh, 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 daughters of damn parents, they getting uh, uh, kidnapped. Right. Those are sorrows, man. And from thy fear. And from thy fear. Like I was breaking down earlier. Brother damn get pulled over for a tail. Like, he don't even know if he's going to live to see the next day. That's fear, man. Right? Go ahead. And from thy hard body, where thou have... That was made to serve. And from the hard bondage, right? The damn uh, punching another man's car, right? We making another man millions of dollars while he's sitting home on the couch smoking a Cuban cigar while we damn making pennies on the back end. That little damn six, uh, 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 seven, eight hours a day, that don't accumulate to nothing, right? All this time we working at another man's business, that's time away that we can damn come up with our own bills, And it would have progressed to these days. They would have had their own website, their own currency. You know what I'm saying? Damn with damn Amazon, man. What the hell with a damn uh, Amazon? Right? All that, man. Hey, but our people forgot to give me the 32 and 7. Our people forgot the days of old. And that's another thing that, uh, uh, that uh, makes our people forget who the other nations are. What the other nations did to our people, right? It ain't just the so-called white men that did to our people. It's all the other nations outside of the Israelites. Just the book of because they know who we were, right? They know who we are now. That's why they paid all the words of the Lord. And those who are in the morning, they build and talk about nonsense. Promote killing your own people. Promote the damn women shaking their ass, so they can never find out. They can never even come close to find out who they are, right? But they haven't considered the uh, the, the hopeful elect of the Most High, right? That's the people that's them that's giving heed to this word right now. Those are the men in the highways and byways. The sisters out there, the children out there, representing their damn husbands, right? The children out there uh, obeying their parents. You see this young man right here? That man's 11 years old. He's in this thing. 
Right? Uh, book of Deuteronomy, chapter 32, verse 7. Uh-huh. Remember the days of old. Yeah. Remember the days of old. Don't worry about it. Remember, remember the days of old. If the Lord said, remember the days of old, why the hell would we forget what these damn devils did to us? Right? The, the damn, you know what today is, 9-11? They, they want you to remember a goddamn 9-11, but why they don't have a damn uh, a day of remembrance for the damn slavery, man? Right? right? They want to give us a damn one stinking ass month of damn black history, and they don't even teach you who you are in that black history month. Uh. They tell you that you're damn black, man. Hey, excuse me, sisters. Y'all got two minutes for the words of the Lord? All right, y'all Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. All right, repent and keep the commandments. We in the last days, right? A lot of people don't got time for the most high. They think they too cute for the most high. Right? They're going to get destroyed, man. Right? I don't want that to be all. Right? So we're going to tell y'all how to receive salvation, right? We're going to tell y'all how to stand ten toes in this thing, man. Right? So it says, uh, remember the days of old and do what? Like, remember the days of old, consider your years of his generation. Ask thy fathers, and he will show thee thy elders, and they will tell thee. It says, remember the days of old. Remember, consider the years of many generations. We got to consider what happened to our generation. Uh, our, our men on those, on those damn slave ships being book, book rape. Y'all know what that is? Uh, uh, book, book, book rape. When they book break a man. Basically, they, they take the man's manhood. Y'all, you know what I mean by that? Right? In front of the families. In front of the families. They make the wife sit there. They make the kids sit there. Right? That's the only that a uh, damn, uh, damn devil can do something like that, man. You got, you got to be in your nature to be a, a, a nasty person to do something like that, right? That's crazy, man. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 11 and verse 7. Because not that y'all sisters know that y'all are Israelites, and y'all know that something is expected. We got to show you what not to do and what to do in this thing. And the swine. And the what? And the swine. What swine, sisters? That's one up right there, right? Go ahead. Though he divide the hoof uh -huh. and be clubbing footed, yet he clubbing footed, clubbing footed, yet he chooses not to cut. Uh -huh. He is unclean to you. He is what? He is unclean to you. That pig is unclean to you. So I, I see you looking on. Not my bacon. Uh huh. You gotta put the bacon up, sister. Right. No more damn bacon deluxe. Right. You too. No, no, no bacon bits on the salad. You don't eat it at all. They all crazy, huh? Right. So you already on the right path. You already know you got to keep the commandments. Uh -huh. But if you don't know the commandments or you don't have anybody teaching you, how you gonna keep it? Right. Those damn churches have failed our people, man. Right. Our people not even learning that they Israelites enough, and that's just the beginning. Ain't no one that and he's not even telling you that you got to keep the commandments to even receive a blessing. Because you know why? The, 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 the pastors tell you that the laws are done away with. Break that out, King. This damn pastor's got to pay. The Lord going to revisit these pastors, right? Because they have scattered the Lord's flock. And they have scattered them by not letting them know who they are according to the Bible. Check this out. The book of 1st John. Chapter 3, and verse 22. Bring that out. And whatsoever we ask, we receive of him because we keep his commandments. Nah, just because we ask. Because we keep his commandments. Because we believe Jesus died for us. Because we keep his commandments. So none of that don't matter. You believe in Jesus died for you. You come to church every Sunday. Oh, you paid time. You paid $50 in time, man. The Lord don't give a damn about that. You're not even supposed to be paying time. Right? And it said, it's like it. Read it again. For the top, First John three twenty two, and what and whatsoever we act, whatsoever. Now he ain't talking. He talking about things of the spirit. Lord, can you please grant me more discernment? Lord, can you please bless me? Uh, 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 you know what I'm saying? With more knowledge of the scriptures. Can you, uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Increase my appetite to want to love you more. You know what I'm saying? We receive of Him because we keep His commandments. Exactly. Talking about things of the spirit. You know what I'm saying? So with that being said, we got to keep these commandments. Uh, and uh, uh, we're going to get back to that damn court and the things that we can and cannot eat. That's right. Of their flesh shall you not eat, uh -huh. and their carcass shall you not touch. He said you shouldn't touch it. 
So if you shouldn't touch it, they also not supposed to put it in our mouth. That's right. Uh -huh. These shall you eat of all that are in the water, whatsoever have fins and scales, in the waters, in the sea, and in the rivers. Them shall you eat. Them shall you eat. And all that have not fins and scales in the sea, and in the rivers, of all that move in the waters, and of any living thing which is in the waters, they shall be an abomination unto you. They shall be an abomination. Right? The word abomination, that's worse than the Lord hating. That's, that's disgusting to the Lord. You don't want to be indulging in something that's disgusting to the Lord. Uh, He's going to damn destroy anybody who's indulged in anything that's uh, labeled as an abomination. Right? Whether that be sexuality, whether that be what you're eating, whether that be the type of person that you are in those times when that when that's going to crack open. Right? So, no, no to the pig, no, no to the catfish, right? The crab, the shrimp, the damn lobster, right? The so-called white man put these things on the tray with some damn uh, uh, leaves on it and tell you that it's a delicacy, man. These are damn bottle feeders. And that's why the damn oceans are dirty right now, man, because they're taking all the filters out the water. Uh, All right. So no damn catfish, none of that, man. Do y'all know what today is? Huh? Not really. Man, we don't give a damn about 9-11, man. Uh, right, right. <laughs> what day of the week is? Saturday, right? We're going to show you the importance of the day. The book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 8. Remember the seventh day to keep it holy. Six days shall thy labor, shall thy work, and do all thy work. But the seventh day is the Sabbath of the Lord thy God. So the seventh day is the Sabbath day of the Lord. In it thou shalt not do any work. Right? You're not supposed to be buying, selling, trading, none of that. Right? This is the book of Job. Yeah. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 35, verse 3. Ye shall kindle no fire throughout your habitation upon the seventh day. When it says ye shall kindle no fire, you're not supposed to be good, right? You can't use the microwave because that's cheap, right? Uh, you're supposed to have a, a chicken salad or something prepared. Oh, you know, I'm, I'm bad. Sorry, sister. A plant-based salad. You know what I'm saying? Put you some croutons on that thing. Get your favorite dressing. You know what I'm saying? Some people like to put the little, the little raisins in there. I don't like all that. You know what I'm saying? I, I, you know what I'm saying? Put me like that. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying? You can have you something cold prepared. A, a, a little sub sandwich or something. So you said we're not supposed to eat my boy. On the Sabbath day. That's right. Ooh. On Saturday. But that's the day that normally, like, everyone. <laughs> I mean, but who, whose tradition is that? <coughs> yeah. Whose tradition is that? Ours? That wasn't our tradition before we came on slavery. We was keeping the Sabbath, right? Sunday dinners, we weren't doing that. We had dinner every night. What day is Sunday? the Father. Which have made us need to be part of the Bible. The Bible just says the Sabbath day is the last day of the week. So, Saturday is the last day of the week. What is Sunday? It's the first day of the week. So, you know what I'm saying? You having what? Dinner at the beginning of the week. People thinking it's the weekend. You know what I'm saying? That didn't come from our tradition. Right. The so called white men changed the time. Right? For the by him, keeping the Sabbath, all the things day, created. You know what I'm saying? That's the seventh day in our God. For by him, right? the sun, the damn sun, all, really all things created. But we oh, we rehearsing the righteous acts. That are in heaven right? and that are in earth, visible and invisible, whether they be thrones or dominions or water, vanities or powers. All things are created by him and for him. So, so far y'all heard about the dietary law, right, the church crowds and all that, y'all heard about the Sabbath day, right, so no cooking, no selling, no trading, right, no buying, that ain't hard, it's just one day out of the week, on the on one day that's uh, given to us to, to serve the Lord, nothing should be hard, nothing is impossible to the Lord, right, yeah, start, give me um, Genesis 1, 1 and 5. I'm going to tell y'all when it starts. Right? This, this is the book of Genesis, chapter 1, verse 5. Yo! And God called the light day, and the darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. 
in the evening, in the morning, for the first day. Right? So when the sun sets, that's when the next day starts. From sundown to the next sundown. Right? Not uh, uh, 12 o'clock at night. You know what I'm saying? The sun sets way before then. So it said from evening to evening. That was the first day. Right? So Friday sundown to Saturday sundown is the Sabbath. Right? Uh, so, bro, you, you're doing all your you buying and selling before the sun go down on Friday. All right? uh, so you get your stuff prepared. You can buy whatever you need. You can clean your house up. You can do this. You go get some gas. And be prepared to keep the Sabbath when the sun go down. Right? right? So in it, you know what I'm saying? You no work. Don't even clean up your house. You know what I'm saying? Two minutes, sister. All right? You're an Israelite. Go The book of Deuteronomy. Chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman should not wear that which contained it to a man. So this is one thing that our sisters kind of struggle with. A lot of sisters hear this truth. You know what I'm saying? But, but hey, you, got, you can't just hear this thing. You got to do everything the Lord tell you to do. Right? Uh. Can't nothing be too hard for the Lord. Right? Can't nothing... Can't nothing be too hard for you to do for the Lord, right? It's like, right? So it says, the woman shall not wear with the tail to a man. Go ahead. Y'all need to go ahead. Logic. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment, right? So all the same So is it okay for a man to be walking around here in a dress? It's not. It might be okay to society, right? But according to the Most High, that's a damn abomination, right? Right. Right. All that you do are what? For all that do so are an abomination unto the Lord thy God. They go that word abomination. The Lord said that's disgusting. Right? So if it's wrong for a man to walk around in a dress, what is it wrong for a woman to walk around with that pertains to a man? This is some fighting. This is some Right? When you unzip that in the front, does some fall out of it? Right? They say. Those are made for man. You know what I'm saying? And another thing, when, when y'all sisters walk around here showing y'all shape, you know what I'm saying? That kind of make a man like, man, are you serious, bro? You don't want our man to be thinking like that about y'all, right? Y'all are some beautiful sisters, right? Look at Revelation. I read it. I like it. He's an old school joker. He's an old school joker. Yeah. I, I could tell I could tell in your spirit, sister, that both of y'all, y'all look like that. Because when I say sisters jump out and twerk, you're like, see, yeah. And I could tell, you know what I'm saying? You don't have to do that I wish so many other sisters had the mentality, you know what I'm saying, that you got. You know what I'm saying? That's a little thing. Oh, go ahead, King. That's a win. First Timothy chapter 2, verse 9. In like manner, also that the women adorn themselves in modest apparel. And hooch your mama clothes. And modest apparel. With a one piece on. With modest apparel. With same faces. With same faces. Right? These women in the club. Not even in the club. Right? We was posted up over there. Y'all know what GBO at, right? You know it's by the railroad. Anyway, we on the other side. Okay, we on the other side. We see women walking up with all kinds of stuff on. Now that clothing that they had on, that's an abomination to the Lord. Right? Yeah, it's showing men everything. We passed by one chick uh -oh, when we was driving away. She had on a damn see through uh, dress. You can see a damn uh, underwears in there. That's, that, that's not modest. Hey, you know, sister, yeah, fire right there, yeah. You might not have read, you might have not met the right brother yet, but a brother is gonna honor that to the T. I promise you. Listen, then when you go and put that dress on with the Francis and the hair wrap, just. You ain't gonna be able to keep the brothers out. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying, that's beside the point. You know what I'm saying, that's what the brothers really love, something they, they gotta wonder about, right? I'm not talking about these niggas out here. That's I'm not right. talking about these goddamn thugs out here. I'm talking about real men, right? You're gonna have a real man soon, sister, right? You too, sister. Y'all got good hands on y'all uh, on y'all shoulders, man, right? With shame, 
it's a it's shame fest. When you're shame fest, you keep your behind in the house on Saturday night, right? Oh. On Friday night. You're not out here showing your behind. Shame fest means you're not in everybody's face, right? You kind of like to yourself, you're reserved. Right? Went out you down, you, you would be ashamed to damn be out there like the that. That's what shame facing me, man. You Zebulun have respect for yourself. You have self worth That's being shame They join battle with them in the valley of sin. It's the body. Not with broaded hair or gold or pearls or costly array. Not, not all that extra stuff, the eyelashes out here this long. You know what I'm saying? When you turn, when she turns to the side, you see the eyelashes before you see her. Uh -huh. right? And when I say a dress, sisters, I don't mean like any kind of dress. Sisters. Tell me a couple commandments y'all learned while y'all been up here. You first, sister. 
basically it's inevitable for this devil to so, show his horrors, man. Right? And in these times, he's getting ready to come down hard. So y'all sisters and sisters, if you can help it, try not to get the next one. All right? Do you know that they're saying that uh, uh, you need a booster shot uh, A booster shot now? They're saying that, sister. You got to keep up with these things, man. How many you have? One, two, five? It's a such thing as five? Okay. That's the boosters. All, all three of them. They got a purpose. Okay. Check this out, sister. Book of Revelation, chapter 13, verse 9. If any man have an ear, then trust the ear. Right? Please, please, please that sister, I can get to captivity. I can beg you right now. Please repent, sister. Now, the white man right? in the because we're we not supposed to be trusting these damn devils. So, right? So Christ is going to damn come back and damn save us, right? Save not a damn shot. If the Lord, if the Lord wants to kill you, a damn shot is not going to stop the Lord from killing you. You understand? Right? So if we keep these commandments, sisters, look at me. If we keep these commandments, we don't got to worry about catching a damn thing. But the damn Holy Spirit, man. Oh! Right? That's what you want to damn catch. Right? So, sister, the Lord is the one that's damn put the spirit in these damn devils to damn uh, create that stuff. Shalom, King. Shalom. Oh, my goodness. Look at this. This is why we're trying to damn save y'all. And that's probably my boyfriend that got a lot of Right. 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 What do you think about other nations looking at people like that? That's gonna be their purpose. Look at this. Right. 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 Oh, this is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, and verse 21. Bring that out. And it reads, And a mighty angel took up a stone, uh -huh. like a great millstone, and cast it into the sea, uh -huh. saying, That's what violence shall that great city Babylon be thrown down. What? Be thrown down. What? And be thrown down. Uh -huh. It shall be found no more at all. Come on. Boom Yasharala! Boom Yasharala! Boom Yasharala! Boom Death to America! 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 Come on! I'm gonna pass it out to the next mighty speaker, man. 83 in verse number 3. Alright, give me all eight to my Remember, O oh Lord, the children of Edom in the day of God. Oh, yeah, yeah. Those are things that's so-called white men about. They are called the Edom. Huh? I do mean. Oh, good to see you again. Another Edomite. Go ahead. Edom. 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 Who said, raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. Because when they were down, they put it, put it, put it. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Go ahead, start. Go ahead, start. Go ahead. Go ahead. All right, so. So, the brother gave y'all some knowledge, right? So, I'm going to ask y'all what y'all nationality is. But, the brother, what do we really have? Israelite. Right! All right. So, you got to remember that. Don't go home. 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 Don't go so we are going to show y'all how to repent. Because it's very important they know how to repent. Because a lot of people say, if I ask how to repent, they be like, they just say, oh, uh, God forgive me. And that's all. It's more to it than that. They walk around and change. What you got? The book of Acts, chapter 3, verse 19. Bring that out. Repent, ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out, when the times of oppression shall come for the presence of the Lord. So you have to repent. The only way you're going to repent you gotta, you gotta, you gotta be sincere in this thing. You gotta really want to change because a lot of people repent from what they're doing, but they go back the next day and do the same thing. Come. So when you repent, you gotta be sincere in this thing. You gotta be.
you gotta be some people cry when they were pinched. They gotta be really serious with this thing because if you're not serious, when you say I, I ain't gonna, I'm, I'm gonna stop smoking, and you turn around and smoke the next day, it's like you playing with the Lord. Come right? On. Nobody don't like to be played with. If you tell somebody, hey, I, I, I give you your money. If you don't have that money by tomorrow, they, they, they ain't gonna like that because like you playing with them. Oh. You know what I'm saying? So bring it out. The book of Psalms, chapter 32, verse 5. I acknowledge my sin unto thee. Hold on, so he, so he said, I acknowledge my sin. Acknowledge your sin to the Lord, meaning you telling him what you did wrong. Because you can't hide nothing from the Lord. He see what you do every day. But you have, but you have some people be like, I'm not going to say it because you, he might have didn't see it. He might have missed it. He might have had his eyes closed. But hey, look, the Lord see everything, so you have to let, let him know what you're doing. Right. In my iniquity have I not hid. I said I will confess my transgression to the Lord. And thou forgave the iniquity of my sins, Salah. So, in order for the Most High to forgive you, you got to tell him what you did wrong. You got to confess it, like, Lord, I did this. Even though he know what you did, but he just want to hear it out your mouth. Uh, you want to humble down and tell him what you did. Right. You say, you say, you, uh, you say, since you want to get a drink, you got pants on. You be like, Lord, I'm sorry for not wearing pants. You know what I'm saying? Tell him what you did. Tell him that you're sorry. Be sincere. So, because when you're sincere, he be like, okay, she's serious now. I can forgive her. But if you got in your heart, you can say it. But if it ain't, if it ain't in your heart, he ain't gonna believe. Hey, the most time not gonna believe. Come. Huh. The book of Psalms, chapter 51 and verse 17. Look it out. The sacrifices of Yahweh are a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart. Oh God, thou will not despise. Huh. Like I was saying before, we have a broken heart in this thing. Sorry, Lord. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't know. I didn't know. He was the least forgiver. You gotta be sincere. When you giving like, when you hurt somebody, like hurt one of your friends, just say you did something to this sister right here. Just say you did something to her. You, she gonna want you to come being sincere. She's not gonna want you to be laughing. Oh, I'm sorry I did this. Uh, she's gonna want you to come like, I'm sorry. She's gonna want to know that you really, truly feel uh, that you really, truly sorry. Uh, Same thing with the Lord. He wants, he wants us to feel like, okay, she really, really sorry. So she might be crying. You no, know, she on the knees praying. The most I want to know that you're sincere in this thing. Uh, so you gonna forgive me. Uh, Book of Psalms, chapter 119. I got another piece of blog right now. The book of Psalms, I mean, the book of Proverbs, chapter 28 and verse 13. He that covers his sins shall not prosper, but whoso confesses and forsaketh them shall have mercy. So, if, if you cover your sins, you're not going to prosper. So, let, basically, basically, what you do, let the Most High know what you're doing. That's all we're talking about. Let the Most High know what you're doing. Because if you cover your sins, he, ain't gonna, he, he can't forgive you if you don't confess him. So you got to confess him in order for the Most High to forgive you. We come along. Book of Psalms, chapter 119 and verse 59. Pick it out. I thought on my ways and turned my feet into thy testimony. I made haste. You made what? I, I made haste. made what? I, I made, made haste. haste. And delayed not to keep thy commandments. So, sister, you got to make haste to change. You can't be like, oh, I'm going to change next week. I might change two days from now. Once you hear the truth, you got to change immediately. Because anything can happen. You can, you can, Lord forbid, you can get in a wreck on the way home or the next day. You got to make sure you change as quick as possible. Get a dress as quick as, quick as possible. Start eating those foods. You know you're going to eat both. Start eating those foods as quickly as possible because you never know when your time up. You might have to be put to death. Ah. And you want to get put to death knowing that you're an Israelite. That's right. You want to get put to death keeping the commandments. That's right. The book is right. Tell the five, verse seven. Bring it out. Make no terror to turn to the Lord and put the off from day to day. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come forth. In thy security thou shalt be destroyed and perish in the day of vengeance. So basically, don't did. make no haste to turn yeah, to the Lord. Yeah, Quickly do it right now because if you don't do it, he gonna hold you. He already holds you accountable now because y'all know who y'all are. Y'all know what y'all gotta do. So uh, now he's holding y'all accountable to do it. Uh, if y'all don't do it, he, 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 is he allowed to put a judgment on you because y'all know now. Uh, you know right. So that's that's really how you repeat according to the Bible. You have to confess your sins. You have to be sincere in this thing. You have to change. The book of Baruch, chapter 4, verse 1. This is the book of the commandments of God and the law that endure forever. Endure what? Forever. For a little bit. Forever. Forever. All they that keep it shall come to life, but such as leave it shall die. So 
know the law, the, the law is life. The law is the commandment that we're telling y'all right here. This is life. Because if you look around this world, it's full of darkness. That's right. It's darkness. The sun out, but it's, it's spiritually it's darkness. You got people not knowing who they is. It's a lot of darkness going on. But this this is the only light in this world that we live in. This world is full of darkness, but this is the only light. These commandments are the only light that everybody can have. So we got to keep these commandments. Study them every day, get into them, just so we can, so we can stay in the light. 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 That's not uh, saying light. Uh, there ain't no such thing as a person. Uh, 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 so that's, that's really what we're showing y'all how to repent, because that's very important. That's, that's top tier of knowing who you is. First, you got to know who you is. Then second, you got to keep the commandment. And then you got to repent. You got to be sincere in this thing. You know what I'm saying? So y'all got... Y'all know who y'all is? Who y'all is? Get a point to the Bible. It's a lie. Now, what tribe would you say you from? You got tribes too. You got 12 tribes of Israel. Tribe of Judah. Right, right. That's Christian. 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 You know what I'm saying? We this know. brother right here from the tribe of Benjamin. You know, you know brother right here from the tribe of Judah. But Christ came from the tribe of, uh, from the tribe of Judah. The book of Hebrews, chapter 7 and verse 14. Bring it out. For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Sprang out of what? Sprang out of Judah. Sprang out of what? Sprang out of Judah. Right. A rich tribe most spake nothing concerning the priesthood. Right, so Christ came from the tribe of Judah. This is a mighty tribe. All of them mighty, but Christ came from the tribe of Judah. Oh, the same oh, blood that you got running through your blood is the same blood Christ had. You were walking in the sea. You know what I'm saying? That, 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 that's mighty. That's amazing. That's Christ. You know how you know how you look forward to the Bible? You ever, you ever heard how Christ looked? How Jesus looked forward to the Bible? For the temple of God is holy. They're like, whoa, white people oh. have red eyes. Somebody get that fucking shit. Con, see that? He got he look like you. Right. Con, he look like you. And you know they they no. they make a I hope I just come to your house and those people buy the smoke. You gonna stay in there? You gonna get the hell up out of there. You gonna get the hell up out of there. You gonna get the hell up out of there. You gonna get the hell up out of there. You gonna get the hell up out of there. You gonna get the hell up out of there. You gonna get the hell up out of there. You gonna get the hell up out of there. You gonna get the hell up out of there. You gonna get the hell up out of there. You gonna get the hell up out of there. You gonna get the you know how much power we we'll have? Right. They don't want us to know that they want to keep us down, so they're going to sell us to the light. Uh, right. Right. You know? That's the, that's the, that, that image is all over the world. You go to, um, even, yeah, even in Brazil, Brazil got a big statue of a, oh, it's big, of a white man, you know, having things like this in Brazil. This image is all the way around the world. It fooled the whole world. The whole world. You have, you have them in the Christian church. You know what I'm saying? The church is, you have white Jesus in the church. Everywhere you go. Before you, before you get that, before you bring out, I got to get this number one. Uh -huh. Cry aloud. The book of Job. Chapter 9 and verse 4, 324. Bring it out. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judge thereof. If not where, and who is he? So the earth is given into the hand of the wicked. Now, the, witness, the earth is given to the hand of the Now, the person that's ruling the world is the so called white man, right? Because he's ruling everything. You can say that the so called white man rules everything. He owned the music, he ruled the, uh, the restaurants, he owned them, uh, the news company, he owned everything. You got to go to him for everything. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my Bible that transgression in the house of Jacob. So that's why they've got the power to change our image, they image, because they ruling right now. But that's going to come to an end in 2nd and 6 and 9. Show them what they do. Yeah. Uh, that's gonna come to an end. Don't worry about how they gonna feel when you tell them. I'm telling you to do it. Hope for how they became son of man. I have made. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pull that, pull that. You watch it. The book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter 14 and verse 15. So get out. For a father of afflicted. With untimely mourning, when he had made an image of his child soon taken away, now honor him as a god, which was then a dead man. So that image that they made to be so, the image that they made to be uh, Jesus, that's his real name is Caesar Boy Jesus. That's a real person. You look him up, Caesar Boy Jesus. That's the person that they use to make the image of Christ. You know, but we know that's not how he really looked. But the Bible said that that was going to happen. That he was going to paint the, uh, that he was going to make the images of his son. So that was already said right, before it even happened. This is how we know that, that this, this Bible is active. Die from there. Uh, so it's one of the drugs that will build my hand. Uh, right. I was watching people. Yeah, we had a fur back to be saying, I didn't warn you. I didn't want to say they changed the image. And I want to, uh, before y'all go, I want to show y'all the, uh, 
Yeah. How the kingdom so, of heaven looks too. Action. Because in the Christian church, they teach you that the, the kingdom Bible. of heaven got one gate. Brother, that everybody gonna walk through. The Bible says say differently. The Bible describes exactly how the kingdom of heaven looks. Or the brother, when you see the book of the Bible, you got it. The book of First Maccabees, chapter 3 and verse 48. No! And laid open the book of the law, wherein the heathen have sought to paint the likeness of their image. So we read that. Verse 48. And lay open the book of the law. Wherein. So they lay open the book of the law. The book of the law is the Bible. Uh -huh. Wherein the heathen have sought to paint the likeness. The likeness of their image. Going into it again. That's why, um, that's why everywhere you go on the internet, you type in Jesus, you type in uh, Paul. Sometimes you got no witness. The last, he type in the last supper, you're going to see all well, right to the last supper on the, on the images of, of Christ and all that. But the scripture just said they paint the likeness of their images. So that's why you can't find them the right images on, the, on, on Google. And that you can find their images because, that, because they uh, paint their images to our images. They change everything up. Uh, whitewashed everything. That's one. They whitewashed uh, everything. So that's why right. it's a white man book because they whitewashed all the characters okay. of our ancestors. So now I'm going to show y'all how the kingdom of heaven looks real quick. Because according to the Bible, I mean according to the church, they taught me it's one big gate that everybody gonna walk through, and that heaven is for everybody, right? But let's see. Uh, I don't want. I don't want to see. Let's see what the Bible says. The Book of Revelation, chapter 21 and verse 12. Bring it out. It had a wall, great and high. It had 12 gates. Hold up. So the, and the Bible said it had a wall great and high and had 12 gates. So it's describing the kingdom of heaven. So let's see what those gates are for. And at the gate, 12 angels. And the gates had 12 angels, like 12 bodyguards by the gates. So, angels, so nobody can speak in. And the names written thereon, which are the names of the 12 tribes of the children of Israel. So on those gates, they had the tribes of so the children of Israel. So the kingdom of heaven. Only for the for the Israelites. That's right. For the so-called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians. That's right. Right. And so, and I'm uh, I'm gonna show you what. So you say only these people. Hey, it's for them. And I'm gonna show you. We're gonna we're gonna be the ones walk through the gate, but it's gonna be other people in there. But I'm gonna show you what they're gonna be doing. That's right. This is Isaiah 14 and 1. They're not gonna come through those. They're not gonna come through those gates. We're gonna have to snatch them up. We're gonna have to make them come with us. But they're not gonna walk in with us. So if it's three, I'm gonna show you what the Bible says. Isaiah 14 and 1. Like Revelation to come back. The book of Isaiah, chapter 14 and verse 1. Look it out. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. So the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. We are Jacob because we come from Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. We the Israelites. We got to come from all three of them. So he's going to have mercy on our people. And will yet choose Israel. And will yet choose us. And set them in their own land. He's going to set us in our own land. And the strangers shall be joined with them. So the strangers, so the people that are not on this chart, they're going to be joined with us. And they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. They're going to cleave it to us. Uh, so the so-called white man, the Chinese man, the Japanese man, the East Indians, the people that are not on this chart, they're going to cleave it to us, right? And the people shall take them. So we're going to take them. We ain't going to ask them to come with us. We ain't going to beg them. We're going to take them and make them come with us. So they're not going to walk in with us through the gates. We're going to take them and um, bring them with us. And let's see what they're going to be doing with them. And bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them. So we're going to possess them. Just like how they possessed us, we're going to possess them. They had us as slaves and servants and handmaids. That's going to happen to them. Y'all ever heard of so-called karma? And whatever you do, it come back. So they ain't get their judgment yet for what they done to us. But it's going to happen in the kingdom. That's right. Right. All right. That's right. It's crazy. Yes, sister, sister, yes. That's right. Because ours is temporary. This is a temporary punishment. But there, we're going to be serving forever. You ever heard of us being kings and princesses? You know, we royalty. That's going to happen again, but it's going to be forever. We're going to be on top forever. It ain't going to be no more. We coming down. And they be ruling again. Once we back on top, it's over. Right. They're going to have to serve right. us. Because that's what they was made to do. They was made to serve us. But we didn't keep the commandments. So that's what we're serving them now. That's right. And they shall take them captives. And, and all the Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord for service and handmaids. So we're going to possess them for service and handmaids. Like they did us in slavery. And they shall take them captives who captives they were. And they shall rule over their oppressors. So we're going to rule over them. The same way they did us. 
So we gonna blue. So we gonna rule over them now. That's how it's gonna go. Cause the most high just wasted. Even though it may seem like he, he forgot about us doing slavery, he really didn't forget about us. No, they just killed a man because he had to punish them. But now. You know what I'm saying? He gonna, he gonna, um, come in the words, brother. Come on. Minutes, brother. Oh, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. What up, King? What up? Take your soul. Huh? Uh, so. Think about it, bro. You're going. Think about it. Yo, what's up? So, if I ask you your nationality or your race, what would you tell the white man to put in there? Oh, that's what I put. Yeah, if I ask y'all to y'all nationality, what y'all, 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 so what about the people that were born in the 70s? Oh, no. What would they be? Oh, no. And God, they called them by the African American Bible. Those were the ones that came up with the slaves, too. I could not ride my damn So what we out here, what we got to do is that I see what you know. I'm going to buy them. I'm going to go with y'all. I'm going to go with y'all. He ain't even call us black. It ain't nobody color black. Right? He ain't even shirt right there black. It ain't nobody that green. Right. You have light skins calling themselves black. It ain't nobody color black. Right. We ain't Negroes, we ain't Afro Latinos, we ain't none of that. We got here tonight, you know, going to the Bible, we'll be the Israelites of the Bible. Right. We'll be the people that Moses freed out of Egypt. We're the same as that people. We're the, we're the same as that people. So you need some curses in the Bible that can prove that. Because I can just be telling y'all this stuff, but I don't got no proof. But the Bible got the proof that we the Israelites are going to the Bible by these curses. Because our people are a very cursed people. Look into the court. You go to any city, our people strung out on drugs. Then the project, the ghetto. So we let our people know, hey, this history right here, the slavery, that's in the Bible. Them had a yoke of iron put on it, that's in the Bible. Let's come up here on slave ship in the Bible because we didn't say the commandments of God. Right. And listen to him. So he said, since y'all listen to me, I'm going to put a curse on y'all. So I'm going to show y'all. Give me Deuteronomy 1 and 9. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 1 and verse 1. Look it out. These be the words that Moses spake unto all Israel. So Moses is speaking to the Israelites because who is in the wilderness of Moses? Everywhere we was, Moses was with Moses. Right so he's speaking to us, right? right? So he's speaking to us, 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 right? Y'all gonna go through some curses. I'm gonna give y'all some commandments to, to help y'all out in this world. But if y'all don't listen to what I say, I'm gonna put a curse on y'all as a people. And, and we still got this curse on us to this day. So I'm gonna show y'all a few curses that, that's people, that the Bible said, and our people still going through to this day. So give me the one between and 16. This one of the curses right here. Verse 16. Curse shall I be in the city. Hold up. So the Bible says, since we didn't keep the commandments, we're gonna be cursed in the city. So y'all from Tallahassee? But this should have. Y'all from here? You for y'all for Georgia too. Well, if you go if you go to Atlanta anywhere, if you go to Atlanta, who in the slum? Who in the ghetto? As a people, who in the project? We shooting each other in the streets. We all right. But as the Bible says, He said, "If y'all didn't listen to me, y'all gonna be cursed in the city." Right. Keep going. Right. And cursed shall I be in the field. So he said, "Not only is you gonna be cursed in the city, but you gonna be cursed in the field too." So this is the reason why we went through slavery. It ain't oh, because yeah, they were stronger yeah, than us. Yeah. It ain't because they have they have they have more knives than us to uh, trap us in the slave market. God allowed them to do this to us because we didn't listen to them. Right. right. God is in the infinite You see more than God is a man of war. Hold that. God is a man of war. He don't play. It's like it's like it's like you have some parents, right? If you just be like your parents tell you where y'all was a younger child, right? And they be like, wash the dishes before I get home. If you don't wash the dishes, what's gonna happen? You don't get punished. All right. 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 You gonna get you gonna do butt wood. So the same thing with God. God said, if y'all don't keep my commandments, hey, I'm gonna punish y'all. So he never did. Exodus yeah. chapter 15, oh, verse 3. Oh, Bring it out. Brother the Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. The Bible said the Lord is a man of war. A man of war don't play. He the real deal. So if you know that God is a man of war, you can understand, hey man, hey, we don't listen to him. A man of war, he ain't gonna play. He's gonna punish you. So this is why people going to this stuff and still going to these curses, right? Amen. So give me uh, Deuteronomy 28 and 32. Verse 32. Thy sons and thy daughters shall be given to another people. Hold up. So he said our sons and our daughters are going to be given to another people. So in slavery, you know, they had auction blocks set up. And the slave master can come in any time. They uh, sell, uh, sell our children to the other slave master. That's what he's talking about. Hey, bro, you're the game no more. Come on, get this word. 
and thy eyes shall look and fail for them all to be Lord. And they shall be the Lord in thy head. So we want to do it. So we want to do it. We had to look and we had to look and take our child. We didn't have no hand. We didn't have no gun. We didn't have no knife. Oh, yeah. That's Sherwin Williams. What's up, Sherwin Williams? Give me a dude on me 20 and 37. Yo, we the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 37. Yeah, bring it out. Because thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb, and a byword amongst all nations, where the Lord shall lead thee. So the Bible says, since y'all didn't keep my commandments, y'all gonna become an astonishment now. So we went from being kings and princesses now. An astonishment is when somebody sees them and be like, what they got going on? It's an astonishment. And our people, all these other people look at our people like that. We still have our sister and our father in red light. Start twerking. We got our brother got to pull their pants. Down, you know, before they get the car, put their pants down all the way down, okay. great ankles. That's our people. We got the crate challenge. Our people walking up the crate challenge, falling. That's an astonishment. People looking at us like, what they doing? Uh, what they got going on? You got uh, our people going to shoot up clubs, all type of stuff like that. So that's a, uh, uh, that king. That's a, that's an astonishment. Uh, the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 37. Bring it out. And thou shalt become an astonishment, a proverb and a byword among all nations, where the Lord shall lead you. So he said, we're going to become a proverb. Y'all ever heard if y'all want to hide if they want to hide from a black man out of the book? Yeah, back to little chicken. We love watermelon. Kool-Aid. That's a proverb. It was a couple of days ago. Commandment. What's the last uh last about word? And a byword. Oh, among all nations with the Lord shall lead thee. So you said it's gonna be a bower right now. So we so we went from calling ourselves the Israelites, which are God's chosen people, now we call ourselves black. African American. That's low down. You know what I'm saying? We went from calling ourselves the Israelites, which are God's chosen people. Give me do on the I wish I God's chosen people. And now we went from now we call ourselves black, African American, Negro. We're calling ourselves three different things. We did we three different things. You know what I'm saying? So give me do on the same Look at Deuteronomy chapter 7 and verse 6. For thou art a holy people unto the Lord thy God, and the Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Israelites are the God's chosen people. The so called blacks, Latinos, and Native Indians. We are above God. We are God's chosen people. We are above everybody on the face of the earth. That's why people can't do the stuff we do. They wonder why we dress the way we dress. They want to steal our style. They want to. They want to be like us in sports. We are entertainment to them. Oh, uh, because they think they like, dang, how they do this type of stuff? Even during slavery, they had the biggest uh, slave and the other biggest slave, and they made them wrestle for entertainment. Right. So we are God's chosen people. So that's why we do. So, that's why we so talented. That's why we can sing the best. You know what I'm saying? Because we God's chosen people. So um, um, give me the book of. Uh, Book of Deuteronomy, Deuteronomy 30 and 7. Book of Deuteronomy, chapter 30, verse 7. Bring it out. And the Lord shall know that God will put all these curses upon thy enemies and all them that hate thee with, with persecuted thee. Hey Amen. So the Lord is going to put all these curses that our people are going through. That our people went through on the daily. Hey, these curses coming upon our enemies. That's right. You gonna see? Right. We can't right now. We can't really see a so-called white man in, 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 in uh, captivity. We ain't never seen that before with chains. But it's gonna come a time. Hey, you gonna see this on a daily basis? You might walk outside. You know, you gonna be. In they the already field. know. You might walk outside know. scratching your stomach. You see a so-called white man in the field picking cotton. Oh. That's <laughs> gonna happen, man. Uh -huh. that, that's gonna happen. You gonna be out there on, on the balcony, kind of. You gonna look, you gonna see a so-called white man, you know, his skin pitching off. The sun hitting. He gonna look for the sun, he gonna be looking for sunscreen, and ain't gonna be none. Come. So you gonna have to take that, man. Come. You know what I'm saying? We already, me and Ark, we've seen this a lot. You have so-called white people holding up, holding up signs, begging for money. Uh. This is your kingdom. Why is you begging for money? Because these curses that's on us, is turning on them. Slowly but surely, it's turning on them. So give me Psalm 137. This is the book of Psalms. Chapter 137 and verse 7. Read out. Oh Lord, the children of Edom in the day of Jerusalem, who said, Raise it, raise it, even to the foundation thereof. O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed, happy shall he be. Reward thee as thou hast served us. Happy shall he be that taketh and dasheth thy little ones against the stone. So the scripture just said, Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. This is King David. Why is King David saying, Lord, remember, oh Lord, the children, the children of Edom? Why is he saying that? Because of all the stuff they putting us through. To this day, you know the brother that video, he said, to this day. And to this day, man, we going through this stuff. Okay, so he's saying, 
King David saying, remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. We read that. He said, remember, O Lord, the children of Edom for a reason. Because he don't want the Lord to forget this stuff, man. Uh. Yeah, Verse 7. Remember, O Lord, the children of Edom. The Edom is so-called, if you didn't know, the Edom and the Edomites are the so-called white men, the so-called white woman, and their children. Those uh. are the Edomites according to the Bible. Uh. That's, their, that's their true nationality. Keep going, King. In the day of Jerusalem, who said, raise it, raise it. Even to the foundation thereof, O daughter of Babylon, who art to be destroyed. Happy shall he be that rewarded thee as thou hast served up. Happy uh, shall he be that taketh and dash thy little one against the So we're going to take, just like, just like during slavery, and it's a movie called Good by Uncle Tom. You will see that. It's just like in slavery, they kind of took our babies and dashed them against the stones. They fed our babies to alligators, alligator bait, they played hit a, hit a nigga child with our babies. It, that's, that's what's going to happen. Right. They're going to take that little baby, little Timmy, little Michael, little Johnny. We're going to take them and dash them against the stone, just like how they did our children. That's what? Right. That's what happened, man. The uh. most I didn't forget this stuff, man. If the most I want to just God, he would, let, he would let this stuff slide. Right. He would let it slide, man. But the most I being a just God, hey, it's judgment coming to them, man. Uh. It's judgment coming to the wicked. Right. Uh, Revelation 13 to 10. Hey, Isaac, that, uh, yeah. 69. What? The book of Psalms, chapter 149 and verse 6. Bring it up. Let the high praises of God be in their mouth. Right. And a two-edged sword in their hand. So, hold on. We're going to have a two-edged sword in our hand. What are we going to be doing with that sword? We're just going to hold it in our hand. We're just going to be swinging around like wow. this. What are we going to do with the sword? Bring it out. To execute vengeance. To execute what? To execute vengeance. To execute vengeance. To execute vengeance. To execute vengeance. On who? Upon the heathen. On who? Upon, Upon the, the heathen. heathen. On the heathen. We're gonna, we're gonna bring it on the heathen just like how they did us, man. Right. Right. Most I did not forget about that, man. Did right. not forget. Bring it out. Keep going, King. And punishment upon the people to bind their kings and with chains. Hold on, we're gonna bound their kings and chains. If you bound anybody in chains, what that mean? You in slavery. You right. in captivity. So we're gonna bound Donald Trump. We're gonna bound Joe Biden. We're gonna bound all the Rockefellers, all the Rothschilds that own the banks. That own Hollywood, those fake Jews. Uh, We're gonna bound all of them up in chains. Keep going, King. And they're noble with feathers of iron. And iron, same thing. How they did that? Brothers, right here, little man, they're about 12 or 13 years old. They got chains around their neck, man. This is what's gonna happen in them. The Bible said it. Uh, on, keep going, King. To execute upon the judgment written, this honor have all his saints. Praise ye the Lord. So that was gonna happen to them, man. They gonna have chains around their neck. Give me uh, give me uh, Amos, uh, give me Amos. Uh, I mean, Obadiah one and fifteen. Mm -hmm. Come, on, give me Revelation thirteen ten. This is the mm -hmm. book of Revelation, chapter one, chapter thirteen, and verse ten. Bring that out. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. So the Bible said, He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. This is written. This is in. A, this is in the last book of, in the Bible. This is the New Testament. The Bible clearly said, if you lead a group of people into captivity, many bondage, on slave ships, you're going to go into captivity. That's what that was written, right? Keep going. He that killeth with a sword must be killed with the sword. So if you kill with a sword, you're going to get killed with the sword, man. That's what's going to happen. The most High is not forgetting, bro. Keep right. going. Here is the patience and the faith of the saints. So here's the patience and the faith of the saints. And we're waiting on this time. We waiting on them to be enslaved. That's right. We waiting right. on them to pay what they did for us. Right. We waiting on this stuff, man. Wow. We, ain't, we, ain't, we ain't trying to be like, oh, Lord, I pray that you forgive them. Oh, I pray that you let them slide into the kingdom. We ain't waiting on that, man. God. This is going to happen to them. That's right. All right. What you got? What you got? We're going to die. Verse 15. For the day of the Lord is near upon all the heathen. Upon who? Upon, upon all, all the heathen. heathen. Upon who? Upon, upon all, all the heathen. heathen. Keep going. As thou hast done, it shall be done unto thee. Thy reward shall return upon thy own head. So oh, what the heathen man. done to us is going to be done to them. So we know all they done he to does. us. He and now you see they captivity, the seg segregation, they get, they're trying to get our people to jail, to ski gear experiment, no, police shooting us down the streets, slavery, yeah, see, chains around our neck. The brother right here got a, a yoke of iron upon his neck. Oh. That's what's going to happen to them. Mm. Their reward is going to come upon their own head and they don't even know it, man. God. Give me uh, Obadiah 18. Verse 18. In the house of Jacob shall be a fire. In the house of Joseph a flame. Ooh. So we're going to be a fire and flame, man. Oh. And you know when something on fire, 
Hey, it's on fire. Come. Hey, if I, I have flame that's on fire, you don't want to jump through that flame. Right. You don't want to touch that. It's going to burn you. And we know our Heavenly Father is a consuming fire every day. And that's right. how we're going to be. We're going to be a consuming fire. So keep going, King. And the house of Esau for stubble. And the house of Esau, the so-called white race, they're going to be for stubble. Keep going, King. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. So we're going, this is in the Bible. A lot of people probably don't even know about the book of Obadiah. The, the pastors don't read the book of Obadiah. Oh, I never oh, knew about oh. the book of Obadiah in the church. Right. They kind of hide from this book. They kind of skip over it. But, hey, we read that again, King. What's up? No. Well, uh, for stuff. For Esau. For Esau. In the house of Esau for stubble. Keep going. And they shall kindle in them and devour them. And there shall be not any remaining of the house of Esau. For the Lord has spoken. So it ain't going to be no more of them, bro. It's going to come a time. You know, we, you go anywhere. You're going to see white people right here in this, in, this, in this world right now. But when we get the ruling, bro, it's going to come a time. You're going to see them. Then all of a sudden, they're going to be gone. You're going to be like, damn, what, what Johnny? What Billy at? <laughs> what Billy Bob at? He ain't going to be there. He's going to be exterminated. Right. So they're right. going to be, hey, the so-called white race is going to be exterminated because you got to get rid of the, you got to get rid of the virus, man. The virus of the earth. Mm. And we know that they're the virus of the earth, man. They polluting the whole, they polluting the sky. That kind of got chemtrails in the sky. The water dirty. You know what I'm saying? They put a GM on the food. Right. They're killing our people slowly. So you have to get rid, you have to get rid of the cancer that's of the earth that's killing our people. Come so you want to give me wisdom of Solomon 5 and 1 2. This is the book of wisdom of Solomon, chapter Jesus 5 Jesus. and verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness before the face of such as have afflicted him. Hey Amen. So we're going to stand in boldness.